Libra. Welcome to your spirit guide messages for the month of October. This is Miriam. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. You're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. This is a new series I've introduced to the channel. These are messages from your spirit guides, spirit guide messages, what you need to know for the month of October. So I hope you enjoy this. If you do, please do give me some feedback. Please do like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. Let me know what you think. I've also introduced another new series if you have not seen it already. Uh, for singles, who's coming towards you. It looks at who, when, where, how, what kind of connection it would be, advice, clarified with tarot. So if you have not seen that, you can go and find that on my channel. So there are four different readings a month now. I still do the love connection reading, general, singles, and now spirit guide messages. Just different messages, what you need to know for the month. So thank you so much for stopping by and watching. And uh, please check the description box below for anything and all information that you need to know tons of stuff down there personal reading social media all kind of stuff so please go check that out thank you so much everybody for all your support really does mean a lot to me and um, helping with the channel's growth getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them and being a part of that thank you thank you i truly love to do this so thank you so much for all the support all the new subscribers thank you thank you thank you could do without you guys and i truly love to do it so thank you so much for supporting the channel. All right, so let's get started here for Libra, October. What does Spirit want you to know for October? I hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall, happy Halloween. I will uh, shuffle all the decks. All the decks have been pre-shuffle cut and everything um, ahead of time. A little more shuffling for fresh energy. I'm going to get three uh, oracles from each deck, and then we'll clarify with tarot. So I'm going to pull all the cards first, and then we'll go over them. So let's get three from this deck for Libra. What does Libra need to know, Spirit? What do you want to tell Libra for the month of October? What does Libra need to know? What are their spirit messages for October? What do you want to tell them? Please, can we have two more cards for Libra? Okay, so we got three here. That is the um, Healing with the Fairies Oracle by Doreen Virtue. This is Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron reed And then we have the Chakra Insight Oracle by Karen Sangster. And then the Chrysalis Tarot. And I don't remember who does the Chrysalis Tarot, but all that will be in the description box below. All right, so let's get three of these for Libra. What does Libra need to know? For October, what are the spirit messages for Libra? For October spirit, please, what do you want to tell them? Two more for Libra. That's way too many. Two more for Libra, please. Thank you so much. That one wanted to fly, so we'll take it. One more for Libra. One more for Libra, please. Thank you so much. What do you want to tell Libra? All right. You can fast forward if you don't want to watch the shuffling. All right. And you can speed up the reading and the settings. A lot of people don't know that. All right. So let's get three chakra insight cards for you. Libra, sometimes you get all different messages. Sometimes it all intertwines into one big message. So we'll see what we get here. What does Libra need to know for October? What is most needed for October for Libra? What do you want to tell Libra? What are the messages for Libra spirit, please? I need two more. Oh, that's too many. One more for Libra. One more for Libra, please. Thank you so much. All right, let's see what we have here. So we're gonna start with the Fairy Oracle. And we have Awakening Your True Self. So this is being um, aligning yourself in your soul and knowing who you truly are, knowing what you want in life, where you want to go, being authentic to yourself, being truthful to yourself, cutting away things no longer serving you type of energy also I'm feeling too. Really knowing who you are, what you want, moving forward with authenticity and truth and purpose and making new friends. So that may involve cutting away friends no longer serving you 
and making new friends or just making new friends. So some of you may need to make new like soul tribe friends, people that are more aligned to your true authentic self. And then peace of mind here. So I do think, you know, clarity, um, peace of mind, uh, peace, harmony, getting clarity on something here that just puts your mind at ease. Green, uh, very stable energy. Making new friends. And blue, that is all about the throat chakra. So definitely communicating, verbalizing, socializing. And also the brown there too is very earthy energy. So really getting grounded and digging deep and really um, being authentic and true to who you truly are and being very stable and grounded. All right, so let's see, we have the fate. So this is fate, destiny, something meant to be. Uh, divine timing, I feel too, divine energy. Something faded for you. It's like the stars are aligning for you to be who you truly are, which will bring in something faded to you. Once you start living your life in truth and clarity and true to who you are, divine energy, fate will bring something into your life that's meant to be. That's divinely guided with the star energy. And you see 17, which is eight, which is all about communication, action, travel, movement. So once you take that movement in awakening your true self, living authentically within yourself the divine will send to you what's meant to be on your path with the fates there so making new friends we have treasure island so this is like a secret treasure a gift a lot of love and abundance here and uh, happy surprises like opening the treasure chest and finding all the great stuff that's within the treasure chest and you have nine there, like wish, dream, coming true. I think you're going to have abundance of new friends. And it's going to be like a happy surprise. Like a treasure chest of new friends. <laughs> All right. So what do we have here? A leg up. So this is taking action, movement, you know, um, and just, you know, going for it. Just taking that action and movement. seven there which uh is a very divinely guided spiritual number all right so let's see what we have for your chakra and shut insight here we have pleasure enjoyment beauty sensuality and indulgence so maybe time here just to concentrate in yourself um you know and indulge indulge in some things for yourself you know, concentrate on yourself for once. You know, spoil yourself. Whatever that is for you. Okay, and then we have... And that is the base chakra, or it could be the sacral chakra. Uh, let's see. I do believe that's the base chakra. So that's, you know, your stability, your foundation, everything that makes, you know, you who you are, your home, your work, your career, your finances, your family, your friends your self-worth and value. And now we have here uh, honesty, truth, transparency, sincerity, and communication coming in here. And I think that all has to do with awakening your true self and being honest and open and truthful to who you are, what you are, what you need to do for you, moving forward. It's the throat chakra. It's all about that communication, truth, honesty, um, clarity, open, honest communication. And now we have seeing, which is the, uh, your third eye chakra, perspective, truth, knowledge, and clarity. Wow. So we have a lot of truth and clarity coming up in this reading of finally, if you're living in an energy, you're not happy, you're, um, not really happy where you are. You're just doing the day to day grind and you're feeling like you know this isn't who I am I don't feel like I'm where I should be whatever situation wherever you are I feel like some of you um feel like you don't belong there maybe some of you and spirit's trying to tell you you really need to have truth and honesty within yourself see and have that knowledge truth and clarity trust your gut your intuition your higher knowing 
that you can awaken your true self and be true to who you are. And, uh, you know, making new friends, if you have to leave old friends or just make new friends, like-minded people, I think will bring you peace of mind, getting a leg up on it, taking that action. Because there's a treasure waiting for you here. And the fates have that in store for you. But first you have to get true and authentic with yourself and live your life the way you want to live it and being honest to yourself. So let's clarify. Um, I thought I might have to read from the books, but I'm just going off my intuition and what spirit's telling me to say. So <laughs> let's see. Some of you really, really, I feel... <clears throat> Because we got seven, eight, and nine. But they're not in order and they're not descending. They're kind of mixed up. So I think a lot of you are feeling mixed up. Like you're, you don't know which way to go. Do I go forward? Do I go backwards? Do I just stay where I am? Do I make positive movement forward? Do I make big changes? I feel like some of you need to be really open and honest and true to yourself and do something for yourself as with here, pleasure. Uh, for yourself that you feel like you've been needing to do for a very long time, but you haven't done it. Some of you maybe just feel be staying stuck and stagnant in a situation, whether it's a marriage, a career, a home, anything here, or not just being open and honest to who you truly are. Some of you just need that peace of mind. And once you start living in that high vibration, the fate, destiny, divine energy will bring in all the secret treasures that are meant for you moving forward. Okay, so let's get some uh, clarity. Let's get some clarity for you, Libra. What is this awakening your true self? What is this awakening? The Hierophant, wow. So that's divine energy there, that source. I mean, the Hierophant, that is um, faith, spirituality, the divine energy. Um, energy here. Divine is trying to tell you, you need to be true and authentic to yourself and awaken your true self. And you may need to do that through your faith, your spirituality, your religion, um, getting guidance that way also, through praying, meditating, or whatever you do here. All right, so let's get uh, the fates. What is that about? The nine of spirals. So this is the nine of wands energy. So I think, you know, divine energy is saying here with the nine of wands is um, an energy of being the wounded warrior, but you don't give up. You have strength, you have courage, you have endurance, you... Um, you can keep fighting and moving on and not to give up, <clears throat> not to give up, keep fighting and pursuing to live your life to who you truly are. And once you do that, divine will bring in the fates for you. Just keep fighting, persevering on. You know, you've learned all the lessons that you've needed to learn in life here. It's been a long, hard battle, struggle, fight, but you can do it. And once you start being authentic and fighting on for your self, your truth, your clarity, the fates here will bring in what is meant for you. All right, so what is this pleasure about? So we have the page of spirals here. This is communication. This is messages coming in, going out, offers, or something like that. It's a very stable, slow, grounded type of energy. So I feel like um, here with this energy, maybe some of you have just been like neglecting yourself because the page of, oh, this is the page of spirals. So this is the page of wands. So that's that fiery, passionate energy. So, you know, this is taking your fiery, passionate energy and focusing on yourself, whatever that is for you. If you go out, have some fun, whatever fun you're looking for that you feel like, you know, <laughs> you want to go, I, I don't know, whatever it is here for you, it's telling you to be fiery and passionate 
and uh, moving forward. In, and that is communication or messages or offers. If you had offers, if you're single and you've had offers from people and maybe you've refused them, but now it's time to focus on yourself. And if you're just too busy or you feel like, you know, you're not worthy of that or whatever, whatever here, I think spirit's trying to tell you to accept some of this, some of these offers coming in and go out and have some fun and have some pleasure, enjoyment, you know, indulgence, whatever here. Let's go for it. Wow. Okay, spirit. <laughs> I'm not telling anyone to go out and be promiscuous, but, uh, it's been a long time. Just be uh, careful. All right. Libra. What is this making new friends? What is this making new friends? Making new friends. So we have the Ten of Spirals. So this is a completion of laying down burdens. Being at a crossroads maybe. So, I mean, you may have friends now that are very burdensome to you that may only come around when they want something, you know, when they want you to do something for you, you know, it's like this is carrying the weight of everybody else on your back and it's like you just had enough. So you may have friends that just use you and maybe you just can't say no. And I think Spirit's trying to tell you, um, you need to make some new friends. <laughs> some of you maybe may, may just need to make some new friends. And end those burdensome uh, connections that are just weighing you down. They're not beneficial. They're just using you. Um, it's like you're at a crossroads there. Like you've got four cross crossroads there. So it's like you're constantly moving, going, you know, and doing for others and not having any time for yourself. And that's why we have pleasure over here. Do something exciting for yourself with the page of spirals. Accept some sort of offer that comes in to go out on a date or... Go out and have, you know, fun with friends or something like that. So Treasure Island here, we have the Three of Spirals, which is an energy of just kind of like waiting, um, you know, direction you're going in, but it's kind of like waiting, a period of waiting for the right time. So Spirit, you know, is going to know, they're waiting and they're going to know when the right time is to bring all these treasures and blessings to you that are hidden in this chest that you can't see yet. But once you get your life in order and you live authentically, true to who you are, and you fight for it and move on, they're trying to guide you that way. And also to go out and have some fun. Make new friends. Get rid of those burdensome friends. And when they know when it's the right time, they're going to bring on these treasure, treasured blessings for you in your life. It could be anything. It could be bringing in a soulmate. It could be bringing in... A career opportunity that will bring you great wealth and abundance. Uh, something here where you could even hit the lottery. I don't know. Something here where um, you're going to feel like you just, you know, won the lottery. All right. So what is this honesty about? What is this honesty about for Libra? So the world, so this is being honest and truthful to yourself and closing out cycles that are no longer serving you and starting new cycles. This is closing chapters and starting new chapters and it's growth, expansion, transformation into a whole new world and seeing the truth and clarity, sincerity, communication, honesty about you, your life, what you need to do, what you need to cut out moving forward, what cycles chapters you need to close so that you can just move on for yourself to a better place with that world energy whole new world all right so <clears throat> what's this piece of mind about for it's too many for the queen of stones so this is a very stable energy so this is someone who's very grounded stable smart practical so yeah, peace of mind. You know, once you have peace of mind, you'll be so stable and grounded and feeling safe, secure, abundant, prosperous. You know, you'll feel just nurturing, uh, caring and giving towards others and just being very, you know, knowing your worth and value. Just 
being in that very stable, grounded person. And have, once you have that peace of mind moving forward. Or something, you know, that's been on your mind. Uh, whatever that may be for some of you. If there's something that's been weighing on your mind for a while. Um, about a, a situation or something. I feel like you will have peace of mind about that in October. And you'll feel much more uh, secure about it. So what's this leg up? So we got the two of mirrors here. So this is kind of like... This is soulmate energy, two people coming together, unity. It doesn't have to be a lover. It can be friend, family, best friend here. Um, maybe some of you just need to reconnect with those that you love and cherish if you haven't. If you've been so busy with other things that are weighing you down here. You know, and this could be new friends. A leg up to making new friends or reconnecting with um, friends and family. That you haven't in a very long time. All right, so that's peace, harmony between people. So, okay, so we have the hanged man here, which makes sense for uh, seeing here with perspective, truth, knowledge, and clarity. You have the hanged man, which is about seeing things in a new perspective, gaining that truth and clarity and knowledge, just hanging back, going with the flow kind of energy, and just taking it all in. And gaining every perspective, weighing the pros and cons, just seeing the light of all situations, seeing the light of all situations here. And trusting your gut and your intuition. And uh, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Well, we got the seven of spirals. So this is being a little defensive and on guard. So maybe a message for some of you. Yeah, I think where, wherever you are in your life right now, you're feeling bored, disconnect, you're not happy with the Four of Cups energy. You know, you're just kind of holding back from moving forward. This is an energy of Four of Pentacles, just kind of holding back and not really moving forward and being kind of like, it is about stability, but it's also an energy of being stable energy, but also being stuck, not moving forward, holding back. actually holding back not moving forward so you get the queen of scrolls energy here which is the queen of swords so that here is with the honesty truth clarity queen of swords energy that's your energy libra gemini aquarius having truth honesty um cutting away things no longer serving you standing up for yourself not taking any bs telling it like it is that is your energy libra tell it like it is libra to your wish fulfillment, happiness and joy, and wishes and dreams coming true here for you in the future. Wow, Libra. A lot of messages there, so I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it resonated for you. If it did, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. Four readings a month. Don't miss out on that. I wish you the best, Libra. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And always, always, always shine your light.